Hello, this is a lecture on the concept of phased arrays. Here on this diagram I have showed a conventional probe, angle beam probe, and uh, on the angle beam probe we basically have a piezoelectric crystal here that transmits L waves, they are refracted into shear waves, and it produces a shear wave beam for example at a refracted angle of say 60 degrees and the beam has a beam spread. Now if there are three sidereal holes in this block a 60 degree beam will only detect one of the sidereal holes which is in the path of the beam. The way the phased rays work is that instead of using one crystal we actually have multiple crystals say eight crystals or 16 crystals. So you can say that this crystal is split up into uh, for example eight tiny crystals. So when you have eight tiny crystals we actually have eight pulsars also and the electronics in the phase ray machine is configured in such a way that these pulses are actually sent with a time delay. Now if all the pulses are sent together then we will get exactly what is a conventional probe just like a conventional probe. But now if we pulse this crystal first and then these with a time delay then the beam instead of going in this path it will actually go in this direction. And if we pulse this one first and then these later on then the beam would actually go there. So what the phased array machine does is that it times these pulses going to these crystals so that we can actually control the refracted angle of the beam. And then based on that the beam can be swept uh, from a low angle to a high angle. So instead of actually illuminating just one zone like with a conventional probe, we would be actually sweeping this whole zone from a lower refracted angle to a higher refracted angle. So what it ends up doing is that um, on the phase ray machine instead of this beam spread we actually would have a beam sweep angle which would actually basically look like this to this. So the beam would be now swept from a lower angle to a higher angle and uh, it would mean that I can control the beam from for example 30 degrees to a refracted angle of 75 degrees. So when we sweep the beam like this from 30 to 75 we can actually see all the three holes. Now phased array is nothing new. It's being used in the medical field for many years if you have been to the hospital and had uh, ultrasound done on your stomach or in the body then that is exactly phased arrays used in the medical field. The only difference between the medical field and the industrial field is that in the medical field they are transmitting the phased arrays normally into the part or <laughs> into our stomach so the beam would spread from like minus 45 to plus 45 here, because we are inspecting the welds, uh, we will have to go underneath the cap of the weld. So we sweep the beam from like 30 degrees to 75 degrees. And uh, now I will give you a quick demonstration of this uh, concept on a block. It's a two inch block. So from here to there is uh, two inches. And it has three sidel holes at half inch, one inch, and one and a half inches. And you will see that when I place the probe on the part, then the image of the phased ray would look like just exactly like this. And it would show three of these holes would be shown like, like a little, like these indications. So the major advantage of phased ray is that you can project the part directly on the image. So there is much less interpretation required and it's much easier to perform the inspection compared to the conventional angle beam ultrasonics. 
Why? Because for conventional angle beam ultrasonics, we look at the A scan, we take the measurements, then from those measurements, we plot them on the drawing. Here, the big advantage is that you will see exactly on the image, which is right here, and then exactly plotted on the part, which is right here. So this holes, which are A, B, and C, will show up as images as A, B, and C. On the image, this will be the top of the part, and this will be the bottom of the part. So now let's go and have a look at the demonstration. Let me give you a quick demonstration of the phased ray concept. Here we have a two inch block with three side drilled holes at half inch, one inch, and one and a half inches. I have a five megahertz phased ray probe here with a nominal refracted angle of 60, but I will be sweeping the beam from 30 degrees to 75 degrees. So here is finally the image on the block with the three holes. This line represents the top of the block. This one is the bottom of the block. These are the three holes, half inch, one inch, one and a half inches. We are sweeping the beam from 30 degrees to 75 degrees. This is the front of the wedge. And using the cursor on the middle hole, we measure a depth of one inch and PA distance of 0.882, which would be the distance from the front of the wedge to the side drill hole. Thank you.